Hello everybody and welcome back to Faria. I thought we'd play another game with a blue control deck and the link to the deck description is in the description of this video below. So, let's get to it. And here we go. So, when we have Phantasm, Snowstorm, Lancer and Gabriel Sister. Gabriel Sister is an interesting turn to play, can give a fairy advantage. But it's not good enough, I think. I, I'd like a creature. So we'll redraw and see what we get. Gemsilk, Fairy, Lordship and Gabriel's Cistern are all fine, I think. That's excellent. We'll start with a late. And end turn. We can play both the Gemsilk, Fairy and Gabriel's Cistern next turn. So that's uh, excellent. And we're facing another blue deck or perhaps a mixed deck. Either way is fine. We'll go this way, put the game so fair in there, and Gabe and Sisters in there, and just end turn. We could potentially take the lower thief this direction next turn, and uh, in that way get some card draw. It would be excellent to um, have um, an Azure Wisp at this point, uh, if we can manage to get a Faria from both of these whales here. So we'll see what we get here. Lower Thief and draw two cards. Unbound Evolution and Spell World. Okay, Spell World is fine. Spell World is fine. We'll go here. We can get a Faria from these two. Now the question is, do I in fact, uh, I think I'll keep um, Aurora's Disciple and these two at this point, and we'll uh, end turn. Next turn I can play Neutral Lands here, make my way up this side, and Aurora's Disciple could come out uh, here or here, and uh, I can start buffing it with uh, the event card, so I have all three or the disciple, disciple in hand right now, but that's fine. I would really appreciate an Azu Wisp at this point, actually. That would be fantastic. Now, let's think. Um, now, since the opponent is uh, going this way, I think I'll play the Rose Disciple here. That's fine. Yeah, we'll go this way, I think, just to block the opponent off a little bit. We will, in fact, uh, yeah, we'll go here. Place the Aurora's Disciple there. Now I could play another Aurora's Disciple before I use the Spell World here. That could be an acceptable play, I think. Yeah, I think that's decent enough just to maximize the, the buffing capacity and probably try and win it. Yeah, that's great. That's uh, decent. And now I realize that decent and great said in quick succession about the same thing could be a bit contradictory, but if we have to decide, we'll stick with great, I think. We will uh, say that that was better than decent, we will say that it was great. Okay, so the opponent is playing uh, hybrid, red, uh, yellow and blue deck. That's very interesting. I assume that it's some sort of control deck, uh, since the opponent has uh, a lot of cards in hand. Okay, that's... Uh, yeah, probably a control deck. Azure Wisp, definitely an Azure Wisp here. Yeah, now the question is... Do I play my Azure Wisp here? Maybe I should. Maybe I should. The Azure Wisp can be taken out by the Winston Charger pretty easily. And I don't want that. I don't want that at all. Yeah, I might actually be... Yeah, hmm. Might be good to place that Wisp here as well. That is not, in fact, bad. 
that's perfectly fine. Replacing it here will give it a bit more buff. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that actually. We'll place that a little bit here. We'll go here, here, and uh, yeah, that is, uh, that is fine. That is fine. I could have made my way with Kemsel Fairy towards the opponent's orb. That wouldn't have been bad, but uh, I'll keep it here, I think, and, and gather Fairy and take both of these uh, worst disciples here. Okay, wow. That is uh, interesting. Definitely. Can be taken out by the old worst disciple, though. Falcon Dive, okay. The campfire. Wow, so is this indeed a... <laughs> okay, it's a <laughs> one turn kill. Wow. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm impressed. That's uh, <laughs> very neat. Okay. Well, obviously big thank you to my opponent and thank you for watching. <laughs> nice game, interesting. A bit short, but hey, that's the way it goes. <laughs>